Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Spins a web any size, catches seeds just like flies. Look out, here comes the Spider-Man. Is he strong? Listen, bud. He's got radioactive blood. Can he swing from a thread? Take a look overhead. Hey there, there goes the Spider-Man. Makes sense. Fisk becomes the kingpin by eliminating all his rivals with his anti-crime task force, and the public thanks him for it. He writes a few big checks and everyone looks the other way. But it's not just the task force. I've been taking his enemies down too. And the one who's been pointing me toward them is Craven. I can't let him get away with this. I need to know more inside information on Fisk. And I've got an old friend who can get it. Task Force is gonna stop the crime wave when all they ever do is come after me. Just what I want. Oh my god, there's a bomb! I gotta blanket the area and see if I sense anything. Harry probably knows more about Fisk than anyone. Hm. Only one safe place for this, the bottom of the river. Hustle it up, Spidey. Time for alternative transportation. Gotta get back to the action. Spider-Man know where the bomb was? No one else knew. Are we supposed to believe that he's psychic? Or did he know because he put it there? Is that? place for this, the bottom of the river. No time to lose. He's been working closely with Fisk. Maybe he's got inside info on him. With great...
coincidence that Spider-Man was spotted in the vicinity of the bomb explosion? be able to breathe for long. Just a few more seconds. Hey, we got people trapped in here. <laughs> Spider-Man, you drop. Second count. his partner in the task force. He might know something I can use. Serious heat. Gotta find the people quick. <clears throat> Web slinging fail. should sue Spider-Man for criminal negligence. Maybe Jonah Jameson and I could be friends if we just understood each other better. Spider-Man, help out a retired cop? Someone's in trouble. I'm getting too far away from the action. Try not to choke me, okay? <laughs> mm. I hope the bad guys appreciate all the effort I go through looking for them. Hey, swing by my old precinct, will ya? victim said, if Spider-Man hadn't been there, I don't know what would have happened.
identified the location of an attempted automobile B&E. Fellas, I got him! That's so sweet! With this weak an effort, I kind of feel like you don't respect me. I'm going tougher than you. Now you're just a scrawny kid, ain't you? I almost feel like a bully. Spider-Man showed once again that no crime is too small to escape his notice. Funny how when crime's up, it's my fault. And when it's down, everyone forgets I exist. I wonder why any... ...one would keep working at Oscorp. victim said if Spider-Man hadn't been See if I sense anything. If I can't disarm it, I'll have to drown it. 
Time's ticking. This just in, webs need something to stick to. <laughs> Can't turn my back on people in need. Spider-Man had knowledge of a bomb. Why not call? before putting on the mask. Yikes. It's my lucky day. <sighs> Harry's more likely to talk to his old pal Peter Parker than some nut in a costume. Wow. Everyone knows Fisk is crooked. But you're saying he's actually setting himself up as the top crime boss in New York? That's what I've been hearing. I'm, uh, working with Whitney Chang on a story, and she needs proof. You're closer to Fisk than anyone I know. Not really. He, he keeps his business private. But, as an investor, I do have access to the task force's financial records. Oh. Okay. One of the addresses you gave me came up. Large payments to a security consultant. Fisk handles all the personnel decisions. He's the one who hired this Kravenoff guy. But he cooked the books, so technically, Oscorp's paying him. He's trying to throw me under the bus. Join the club. You okay? Yeah, it's just... I trusted someone I shouldn't have. And I probably should have seen it, but after losing my dad and Uncle Ben, I guess I wanted to believe. You wanted a father figure. I know what that's like. My dad shut me out of his life to focus on saving his own. And all he ended up leaving me was the disease that killed him. Harry, I'm sorry. What is it? It's genetic. Very rare. Degenerative. My father extended his life by spending a fortune while he looked for a cure. I don't have that kind of time. There's got to be some hope. Gene therapy. That's what all my dad's research was about. Is that why Norman started the cross-species experiments? Yeah. He thought he could give himself the resistance some animals have to conditions like this. But the closest he ever got was the work he did on spiders with your father. But Dad disappeared. And his work went with him. Your task force. Their body armor has medical applications. Can it help at all? It's not a cure. But it can give mobility to people who can't get around on their own. The task force has helped me improve on it. And protect my research from criminals who'd steal it. 
but it was a mistake to work with Fisk. He, uh, he knows you're sick? He figured it out. And now he's waiting for me to die so he can take Oscorp for himself. Listen, Pete. Take it from a guy who knows. When the people you trust turn their back on you, it's just proof you have to handle your problems yourself. But sometimes... You still need help. Harry, I'll do whatever I can for you. Just tell me what- Spider-Man. No one knows for sure how he got his powers. But he looks to me like the only successful, healthy example of cross-species genetics out there. You take pictures of him. You must have some way of reaching him. Well, uh... Peter, I need Spider-Man's blood. I can check that one off my list. I caught up with Peter Parker. We used to be pretty good friends when we were kids, and our dads were partners. I was hoping he might be able to tell me more about his father's research, but he doesn't know any more than I do. Less, actually. Based on Dad's papers, I get the impression Richard Parker went on the run because Dad wanted to weaponize his research. Typical Norman Osborne. He either ran off or killed the one guy who might have been able to save his life. for long. Spidey dance party! Well, more of a seismic class, really. Okay, I'm sorry. That was boring. Get down and cover your mouth! I'm on my way! Poor Harry. I want to help him, but 
Without the proper testing, my I blood could actually make things worse. That's some serious heat. Gotta find the people quick. Spidey doesn't play favorites. Neither does this. If my blood could cure Harry, I'd give it to him in a heartbeat. It'll take time and lots of research to find out. He's in no mood to wait. Trapped in there doesn't have much time. Hey, I said it. Get me out of this mess! Don't worry, I'll get you out. <laughs> Good thing my costume protects me, but not enough. Very nicely done. <laughs> if I give Harry my blood without testing it first, it could kill him. Or, or turn him into a monster like with Dr. Connors. And then who knows how many people he might hurt and kill. <sighs> ah! With my luck, now I'll get busted for smoking in public. Second counts. survivors say no one but Spider-Man. <sighs> Norman Osborn lived for years with his disease. Harry's got time, even if he doesn't feel like he does. Before I give him my blood, I need to make sure it's safe. For him and everyone else. Oh yeah! Time for alternative transportation. I'll take that. It's my lucky day.
Who can resist that? I can check that one off my list. I hope the bad guys appreciate all the effort I go through looking for them. That's what I'm talking about. I'll take that. Just what I wanted. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I've put this off long enough. Gotta catch up to Harry and talk to him. Kane, thank you. I'll pay whatever you want. Mr. Osborne, wait. I've checked with scientists familiar with gene therapy, and I can't give you my blood. It's too dangerous. Dangerous? I'll die without it. Not right away. There's still time for more research. Every other cross-species subject has turned into a monster. I don't know why it's different for me. I'm, I'm looking into it, I've but... paid the top minds in the field to look into it. A fortune! They don't have the answers. I'm willing to take the chance. It's not just about you. The lizard, the other cross species, they hurt people. Get out. Kill people. Just get out. I can't give you my blood until I, I know right. it's safe. I can't I trust anyone. I'll find out. I'm on my own. Mr. Osborne, I. No, 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 just. just go. Harry's really at the end of his rope. I should have noticed a long time ago. I can't believe I fell for his act. But why would he teach me his hunting techniques if he was going to betray me? I guess that's one of the things I'll have to ask him. I'm gonna have to find another way. Craven, time for a little mentor-mentee chat. You know, discuss our mutual goals. Map out a five-year plan. Explain why you're working for a human jello mold. Looks empty. Maybe I can still find some answers. Craven's gone, but he left in a hurry. I bet there's evidence here if I look hard enough. Scan this room every way I can. I'm gonna go over this room with a fine tooth comb. It's all for me. 
He was gonna kill me and stuff me like a trophy. All this time he's been studying me, testing me, figuring out my strengths, and how to beat them. You're a fake! A coward! This is your idea of a fair hunt? Oh no. It's only the prelude. I want you at the peak of your abilities. Stop acting like you're King Arthur. All that talk about honor. You lied to me. Betrayed me. For the kingpin and his money. That was incidental. I did not betray you. I truly taught you all I knew. Not just so you would eliminate the kingpin's rivals, but to make you the worthiest possible opponent. The foe. My greatest hunt. Now you are ready. And now we will see who is the hunter and who is the prey. So you used me to take out the Kingpin's rivals. What about Cassidy? I noticed you jumped in to stop him talking to me. Cassidy was useful for a time. He sought fear and mistrust. But he is little more than a beast. It was inevitable he would have... Been a poor sport. You wanted me to watch Cassidy kill that kid. Why? So I'd kill him? So I'd feel guilty? Just because you're a sick freak? It was a test <laughs> to see how strong you could be. <clears throat> you could stomach this spilling of blood. I'm still waiting for an explanation for your mustache. Impossible. I studied you. You are not capable of this kind of fury. You lack a killer instinct. You grasp at shadows. I get as angry as you do. I want to hurt my enemies just as much. The difference is, I know it's wrong. Hey, pay attention! I'm not gonna do this again for your best- ah, Death! Your own senses betray you! one step behind! Ambush me from the trees! There is no escape! Defeat. You're saying death isn't defeat? You planning on coming back as a craven zombie or something? Anyway, I won. That means I call the shots. What are your terms? You're a few episodes short of a season, Craven, but you've always had your own loony code of honor. So you're gonna tell me how to get to the Kingpin. The truth. Everything you know. Very well. You have won that right. Ask, and I shall answer. I ran into someone who says Kingpin gets test subjects at Ravencroft. How? The institution has lost all government funding. It now relies upon private donors, of which Fisk is the largest. Now that Norman Osborne is dead, 
And they just let him experiment on inmates like some kind of Dr. Chubbenstein? <laughs> they encourage it. They view the inmates as hopelessly damaged. Useful only as test subjects. I know you. You're always checking out your surroundings. You notice everything. Yes, it's true. I met with Fisk in his building, where I took note of the locations of his cameras, weapons, and accessible points of entry. He has a Telec 4566 security system, and I know the passwords. Well, you get a gold star. Draw me a map, and don't leave anything out. The information I have given you will get you inside the building, but you must still face Fisk himself. I'll distract him with cupcakes. This is why you will lose. You underestimate him. He has fought for his life since he was a boy. If you show even a moment's weakness, he will see it and kill you. The old killer instinct, huh? A lot of good it did you. I'm not sure if the cops can pin anything on you, but if not, take my advice and go back to Russia. Fisk doesn't seem as forgiving as I am. out of town? I heard it's about that stolen Oscorp tech. Some kind of armor they're trying to get back. So? We need backup now. But they don't care if working stiffs like us get killed. Think I'll tag along with those trucks and see what's so important. That is the last time I eat garlic pizza before putting on the mask. Yikes. What is that? to driving that kind of truck. Why can't Tony come? Because we're going to see the boss. And only his top guys get to know where he goes when he's not here. So shut up and do your job. <laughs> I had a feeling listening in on those guys might pay off. 
Now to stick to their truck and let them take me right to the fat man himself. Got the delivery. I'll watch the truck. You got it, boss. It's ionic webbing, not ironic. Huh? I have eyes on Spider Man. Want me to let you go? Raise your hand. No? Okay. Did your mom tell you you could be anything you want? <laughs> All the armor in the world can't fix stupid. <laughs> Spread out. Secure the area. You got it. I want a perimeter set up. All points of entry watched. I'm on it. I catch anyone slacking off, they'll end up patting my arrest stats. Understood, sir. Maintain radio contact. Check in every five minutes. I'll spread the word. The boss wants everyone working double shift. I tell the boys. Task Force cops working with crooks. No. Who could have possibly predicted that? Except everybody. Task Force? <laughs> I don't like... It's my lucky day. I knocked out your tooth, but don't worry. I left it under your pillow. back, relax, and enjoy being unconscious. I'm not sure about the kingpin. I don't like working for a guy whose name I don't know. His money's green, and if you ask too many questions, it's bad for your health. That's all you need to know. It really is so hard to get good help these days. their lines of communication by taking out the guys who give the orders. <laughs> okay, Ionic Webbing, let's redecorate. Armored guys are in charge. If I take them down, it'll confuse everybody. You're a fool, man. If you think those lackeys were meant to do anything more than delay you.
care what beef you had with a guy in your old crew. Deliberately moving pet armor is too big an advantage. I need to equalize things with ionic webbing. <laughs> ionic webbing is my best shot here. <laughs> this is my chance to disable their armor. And ionic webbing is just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> Web shooters are disabled. Gotta be careful. What's that? I learned a valuable lesson today. Kicking bad guys in the face is fun. Let's dance, Ali. I'll take you on any day. Oh, snap! If you were awake, you'd be impressed. Do you know how much you cost me? But the bill is coming down, Spider-Man! You're all tricks. No more tricks. They say bad guys don't... Armor might look cool, but it doesn't make them any faster. Task Force Cops, working with crooks. No, who could have possibly predicted that? Except everybody. Task Force? I don't like... Say some fun bad guy things like curse you, Spider-Man! I love that one. Some days you just got it. I'm not sure about the king thing. I don't like working for a guy whose name I don't know. His money's green. And if you ask too many questions, it's bad for your health. That's all you need to know. It's not that you're bad at your job. Okay, it is. They're so cute. Uh. Armor's too big an advantage. I need to equalize things with ionic webbing. This armor might look cool, but it doesn't make them any faster. Crap, the police officer. You've been busy, Spider-Man. Care to add more crimes to the list? This one time I fought somebody who was a real loser, and they were still better than you. Just what I want. I learned a valuable lesson today. Kicking bad guys in the face is fun. I might just have a. You're a fool, Spider Man. If you think old Blackie will do anything more than delay you. I 
the judges give Spidey a perfect score! Okay, the judges are just in my head, but still. I don't care what beef you have. Now take some time. You know how much you cost me! But the bill is... So sweet. Ain't nothing gonna stop us now. Yeah, the Kingpin's scary, but I'd work for him over the Osborne kid any day. That guy's got issues, man. Must be frustrating for you. Looks to me like the elite task force wasn't all that elite. I'm sure you're quite pleased with yourself, but the knight is young. Who's there? Come to Papa. Are you deliberately moving really slowly? Is this like some sort of mime thing? Got the spider. Target acquired. Fool me once. Target acquired. Open fire. Got the spider. Let's see how you do hand to hand. I think of it as a sticky, gooey, smelly sweater. Knows it, right? I like hurting people. Let me show you. I see you. I suppose when you live such a sad little life, you can't help but cling to small victories. Let's not fight. Ah, never mind. Let's fight. The armor's only as good as the guy inside. And those guys? Yeah, not good. Please, Spider-Man, beat up some more police officers. They'll make wonderful new footage. Webbing, let's redecorate. <laughs> Whatever those guys get paid, it's too much. Guy. Was I in the zone or what? Like, curse you, Spider Man! I love that one. is just what the doctor ordered. Uh, 
This is gonna hurt. Bad. Give me robots any day. At least robots don't talk your ear off. I may have to take a direct hand in this sordid matter. No more games, Buffalo Butt. Just you and me. I can check that one off my list. music? This guy's cheaper than Jameson. <sighs> Smells like sweaty fat guys and burritos in here. No offense to burritos. Well, if it isn't the kingpin! Catchy name, but I have to say, you look more like a bowling ball than a pin. Or maybe a beach ball? I have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, I'm impressed. You take control of crime in New York right under everybody's nose. The whole city knows you're crooked, and everyone still kisses your tukas. Which must take what, like a week? A lot of ground to cover is what I'm saying. The only criminal I see is the masked man guilty of breaking and entering into my private building. A violent vigilante. The Daily Bugle has branded a menace. Fine. Play it like that. But one way or another, you're going down. <laughs> and now you threaten me. I dare say Jonah Jameson will praise me as a hero after I kill you. In self-defense, of course. You set Cletus Cassidy loose on the city. Not just to wipe out your rivals, but to scare me. To make things so bad, when you took over, it'd look like you fixed it. And who else is gonna fix it? You? Running around in a costume, acting out some adolescent power fantasy. I live in the real world, Spider-Man. Where are your fat jokes now? I'll crush you! In self-defense! Spidey dance party! Well, more of a seismic blast, really. Their food. <laughs> Spidey doesn't play favorites. Neither does the seismic blast. Could be worse. 
Like you fixed it. And who else is gonna fix things? You running around in a costume, acting out some adolescent power fantasy. I live in the real world, Spider Man. No one gets left out when I use the seismic blast. You're so bad. When you go camping, the bears hide there for you. Come down here immediately. You expect me to fight it myself? So people don't expect a crime-free utopia. They want a world that makes sense. But if you stay out of bad neighborhoods, you don't get hurt. They want order. You're wrong. People want justice. They 
want to know that if they work hard and play by the rules, the same rules everyone else has to follow, they'll be okay. <laughs> what an amusing world you live in, boy! Hey! You put forth this weak in effort? I kind of feel like you don't respect me. She was wrong. You're not fighting purse snatchers now. <coughs> I'm gonna beat you senseless. Perfectly legal. on the city. Not just to wipe out your rivals, but to scare them. To make things so bad, when you took over, it'd look like you fixed them. And who else is gonna fix them? You? Running around in a costume, acting out some adolescent fantasy. I live in the real world, Spider-Man. You're so fat I could have you arrested for ten pounds of crap. Time for my web shooters to stop working. That's not fun. <laughs> Booyah! <laughs> you 
you set Cletus Cassidy loose on the city. Not just to wipe out your rivals, but to scare them. To make things so bad, when you took over, it'd look like you fixed it. And who else is gonna fix things, huh? You? Running around in a costume, acting out some adolescent power fantasy. I live in the real world, Spider-Man. Like you. You're so bad, you're the same. 